Hi Kai, today we are going to create another useful console app. We are going to make a console app that will create high quality icons from images. Let's begin. Open Visual Studio and create a new console application and name it create icons from images and ensure that do not use top level statements is ticked. Once the program is created, delete the existing code. Then in project properties, set the target OS to be Windows. Now we are ready to add the code for the icon files. We are now ready to accomplish our task. Firstly, we need to read the file names from a folder containing the images into a list. And then loop through each file in the list and create an icon from each image. To create high quality icon images, we can use third party libraries that are available. But this is not necessary as the icon file itself is easy to construct. You can read about the icon file format here. This is what we are going to do. We will load each image file and convert it to a bitmap image. Then we will prepare the icon file header and save the image data in PNG format in memory. We will then calculate the data length and update the icon header with the correct data length. This should result in the creation of a valid icon file containing the specified image. Here is the code to do this. First we need to add NuGet package references to our project using the NuGet package manager like this. Right mouse button click on the project and select manage NuGet packages option from the list. Click on the browse tab. Search for system drawing dot common in the search box. Select the item and install the package. Now we need to declare few variables. We need a images folder path that has all the images we want to create icons for. Output folder path, where we will save the created icons. We then get a list of all files in the folder using directory.getFiles method. We then check if the list is empty, if so we exit this method. We then check if the output folder path directory exists, if not we create it. We then loop through each image in the list like this. At the start of the loop, we create the output file path with the name from image file. To this output file path, we add the file extension as .ico, like this. We then load the image file into memory. And then convert it to bitmap image with the required icon size of 256 by 256. We now pass the bitmap image and the output file path to the save as icon method. In the save as icon method, we do the following. First, we declare some constants. Icon header size, which represents the size of the icon header, which is 22 bytes. Image data offset, which represents the offset where the image data starts, also 22 bytes. BPP32, which represents the bits per pixel for the image, we are setting it to 32 bit. Now we wrap our code inside a using statement to create a file stream. The using statement ensures that the file stream is properly disposed of when it's no longer needed, even if an exception occurs. Let's write the the icon header, which is a set of predefined values required for an icon file. These values include information about the image size, color depth, and more. The first two bytes of the header are reserved, so we set the values to zero, like this. The second two bytes specifies the image type, 14.ico and 24.cur file. Here, we are setting it to 1, like this. 
Third 2 bytes, stores image count. You can store multiple images. We are going to set that to 1, like this. Now for the icon file directory entries. The first 2 bytes, in the icon file directory, stores image width and height, like this. Height we set it to 0 for 256 pixels. Width we set it to 0 for 256 pixels. The next 1 byte, stores the color count. This needs to be set to 0 for color count more than 256. And there is a reserved 1 byte, that we set it to 0. The next 2 bytes, stores the number of color planes. This is no longer used. So we set it to the default 1. We then use next 2 bytes, to store the bits per pixel. We set it to 32 bits, so we get high quality icons. The next 4 bytes, stores the image data size. But we don't know that information yet. So we create placeholders for these now. We will get the size when we save the file. And finally next 4 bytes, stores the offset from the image header to the actual image data. This offset is set to 22 bytes from the header. The header writing is now complete. Now we use source bitmap save method to save the actual image data to the file stream. The image data is saved in the PNG format. Once the image data is saved, we can now calculate its length. All we need to do is subtract the header length from the file stream, like this. Now that we have the image data length, we need to add this to position 14 in the header. So we go to that location like this and write that data. We spread this right over 4 bytes, like this, and now we are done. Run the application. Now check in the target folder that the icon files have been created successfully. They should have the file extension of .ico. The width and height should be 256 pixels. Now let's use one of these icons in a shortcut. Here is my shortcut to the wallpapers folder. I will now change this shortcut to use one of the newly created icons, like this. First open the properties of the shortcut. Click on the change icon button. And then click on the browse button. Now navigate to the newly created icons folder. Select an icon. Double click on the icon inside the dialog. And then click on the apply button. The new icon is now displayed on the desktop. If the icon does not show then click the right mouse button on the desktop. And select refresh option. The icons should now display correctly. That's it. We have now made a console app that will create high quality icon files from images. Simple, wasn't it? The complete code is available in the description. You can copy-paste it into your project.